Hi there everyone, I'm Clink, and welcome back to Super Mario 64. Last time, we took on Big Boo's Haunt and got almost every star there. Thankfully, la uh, today, we'll be able to get the last one after we go talk to Bowser. To do so, we'll go right up to this door on our left and see what's in store. Just head on down this hall and you'll fall through the floor. Alright, this is take two of this. So, this is Bowser in the Dark World. Each uh, Bowser level will have eight red coins in it, much like every other level in the game. The eight red coins are the only star in these levels, and I'm actually just going to wait out this timer, because the other one is over there, but the timer can run out on you and you might die. So... These are usually pretty linear, straightforward levels that just have the red coins to collect for a star and then a Bowser fight at the end. They're pretty straightforward, and there's not really much to say about these. They're just kind of little platforming gauntlets. Oh, great. And this first one, you know, just getting you accustomed to how these Bowser levels are going to operate. My original plan was to actually cover this in its own video, but I figured I could showcase the last star of Big Boo's haunt in this as well, since we can go get the power-up to get it right after this level. So there's a more sneaky red coin uh, right there on the edge of, the, or right up against that block. Then there's another one right here. And then what we're going to do is actually come back over here, because you can kind of see it on this island over here. This is the this was always the hardest one for me to find when I was younger playing this game. And then you want to just walk along over here. And then we only have two left. So we're already almost at the end of this level. Like I said, it's very short. And it's, it's literally just a bunch of platforms floating up in the sky, because... Yeah, it's a, it's a Mario game. That makes sense. Why wouldn't they? There's seven. And then your last one is right here. And then the star will appear right behind the pipe. Not too bad of an eight coin star. And then you just have to make sure you don't die getting up to... I almost ran off the cliff because of course I would do that. Uh, backflips are a pretty safe way to get up here. Step on the switch and it'll open the staircase. You can also just do a triple jump and you'll get up here just fine. Run into the star and there you go. That's it. Now you can take on Bowser for the first time in this game. Tough luck, Mario. Princess Toadstool isn't here. Gwahaha. Go ahead. Just try to grab me by the tail. You'll never be able to swing me around. A wimp like you won't ever throw me out of here. Never. Ha. Thank you for telling me exactly how to defeat you because that is such a grandmaster plan. Yeah, so Bowser, just grab his tail by using the attack button, spin your stick around, and you can th uh, swing him around and then throw him. You do kind of have to aim it towards the bomb, and if you're anything like me, you'll be really bad at it. You can build up speed on him pretty quick and just throw him into one of these bombs and that's it. That's the whole fight. Very simple. And then you gotta grab your key. Do him style, of course. Crawling around. And yeah, that's it. That gives you the key to unlock the basement of the castle. Which will be the second major level of Peach's Castle, this mostly clearing out the first part of the game. Once we go and wrap up those few loose ends, but we'll have them done between this part and the next one. So go down here and insert the key and say hello to the basement. So in the basement, you have your 30 star door right here. This is to access the next Bowser level. We could already open this, but we'll revisit this later once we've done all of the areas down here. 
I'll go into what the areas are as we go to them and do a quick tour. And there's also a little rabbit down here. This is Mips. He'll show up when you acquire 15 stars. Uh, anyone that's ever done a 16 star speedrun of the game is very familiar with this little guy, and I'll showcase that when we get there. But I'm going to ignore him for now and come back later. We're actually going to focus on this door right here. When you come into this door, there's this water that you'll want to swim through. And on the other side are these two pillars and a sign. This sign just says, pound the pillars. Go up to them, ground pound them, they'll fall into the water, or I will fall into the water. And Mario, please. Thank you. Once you've ground pounded both of them, the water will drain, and you can enter this door. And this door leads to none other than the moat outside the castle. Um, now, you can open this door from the other... From uh, You can be out here and open the door from the other side if you go through a couple parallel universes. But honestly, I have no idea how to actually explain that, and there are much better videos for it. But it's real. Anyways... Head through that hole there, and you'll enter the Vanish Cap course. This will introduce you to the Vanish Cap power-up, and there's an 8 red coin mission here, but I'm going to save this for a later date, and just unlock the Vanish Cap for now, because we need the Vanish Cap, but um, this star is actually labeled, much like the Wing Cap 8 red coins, as a Peach's Secret Castle star, so I'm going to save that for later. So to, for the Vanish Cap, you just kind of got to platform your way to the end of this. Right here, you want to jump onto this, because at the top, these platforms actually kind of spin a bit, as you can see. So you'll fall off. Right here, do a backflip, land on here, step on the switch. And now all the Vanish Cap switches, or blocks, I mean, will be blue like this, and you can actually use them. So... The first use of this will be over in Big Boo's Haunt to get the last star that we didn't get last video. So we'll go do that real quick. Alright, so we'll be doing eye to eye in the secret room. This is the last star here. And to do this, it's pretty straightforward actually. Um, up at, er, actually no it's not. It can be, whoa, okay. It can be one of the more secret stars in this area. So to do this, you just need to come up the stairs and then head over to this far right door. And we're actually gonna be going back up to the top area there. But what you need to do is you need a vanish cap. And um, on this balcony, there's a vanish cap block. Grab the vanish cap and as fast as you can, run through the door, jump over here. Please, Mario, thank you over here and maybe I will make it in time the vanish cap doesn't last for too long yeah I messed it up great I'll um I'll cut back to when I actually am able to get it Alright, there we go. Now I got it. So, you just gotta jump right through the painting and you'll be in this secret room. Let me get rid of this boot real quick. And there's a really big eyeball in here, but you kill him the exact same way as all the other ones. Just run a, rap, uh, run a lap around him, and out comes your star. And that wraps up Big Boo's Haunt, and your 35th star. And that's pretty much going to do it for today. Next time we'll actually jump all the way into the basement and see our first area for it. And it's going to be one of the more interesting areas of the game. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.